Hey guys, Coach Bill Sandil coming to you from Chandler, Arizona, and it's going to be another video analysis Saturday, but 114 today, so I just got done uh, doing some video analysis. It's going to get hot out there today, and uh, so we're right in the middle of summer, and uh, we're in full swing, and then as I always do, I come back to the lab, and I start doing some video analysis stuff, and I ran across this video that uh, Teacherman posted. Uh, on what this trainer is training and this is the stuff that's online this is the stuff that's on the internet and uh, it's really really sad so I'm gonna have you watch the video and then we'll come back and we'll talk about it okay thanks hands back stride back hip explosion knob towards the ball contact extension follow through now let's do an actual swing we bring back, we bring back the checklist let's see if I hit every step That was unlike anything I've ever seen before. Um, and, and indicative, of course, of uh, all of you lifers who have uh, watched and participated in this game, this beautiful, torturous game for, forever. I, I'm actually grateful in this moment that I didn't care about this years ago because it would have just eaten me alive. Okay, guys, so you watch that video and the guy walked through a checklist. And part of his checklist was swinging down, taking this like this and then extending and it. This, this is this is a really, really bad. I mean, this is the stuff that's on the internet that's being taught to kids from these guys who, whether they played or didn't play, um, this is the stuff that's out in the market. And we're really, really trying to bring to light some of the stuff that's happening. And nowhere does good players swing down knobs straight down to the ball. Nobody does that. You know, you can try to post stuff like that, um, there are another other ex pros on there now getting on Teacherman, uh, Doug Mankiewicz. You know, listen, you can't argue with what's going on in Major League Baseball. Right? Even though Aaron Judge has exposed MLB to what hitting is, and I agree with some of the things that are being taught. Listen, there's a lot of ways to teach this game, and there's levels to Major League guys. So if you want to be a high echelon guy, then you've got to change some of this swing down mentality. If you want to be an average hitter, just a great athlete, it's proven that guys who are good athletes that have mediocre swings can play big league baseball. Okay? That's proven. But again, there's a hierarchy in baseball that if you really want to get up to the level and stay there and sustain yourself and put up good numbers, not just, not just numbers that make you a major leaguer, but just good numbers that sustain you as a high echelon, high elite player, then you gotta change your swing to what's really, really happening. When you're talking about a deep barrel turn, you're talking about getting on plane early, you're talking about a hand pivot point, you're talking about um, doing what Atani's doing right now, and Mike Trout is, you know, that pelvic coil to, to open. When you can create those movements in your at-bat and duplicate those movements that these good players are doing, then for sure you're a high echelon guy and then you should get the accolades that come with it. But again, remember, there's levels to major league players. There's, there's high echelon guys, Mike Trout, Tatanis, and then there's mediocre guys, and then there's low level major leaguers. So you're absolutely right. You know, when you talk about when Jeff Wright talks about you don't have to do it certain ways, I get that. You know, you can swing down and do everything you want, and if you're a good athlete, you're going to play big league baseball. But the high echelon, the, all the great athletes have certain elements of their swing that make them great athletes. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at these other swings. And then we'll come back and give you my final thoughts. Thanks. All right, guys. So you watched the end of that video. You saw the deep barrel turns going on. You saw how they create that arc. They, the barrel goes rearward before it goes forward. They get on plane early. Once you can get on plane early and then rotate to connection, you're going to have launch quickness, you're going to have a direct path to the ball, and then you'll have adjustability. So when you watch that swing, when you watch the swings of high-level guys, that's exactly what they're doing. Barry Bonds did it better than most. And again, remember Aaron Judge and others are doing it now. So again, remember, not everything online is what you're supposed to do. Try to keep up with the trends and what's happening in baseball. And, and listen, there's a lot of ways to teach this game, but work the swing that's best for you. But remember what's happening on the way up, and that's the key. If you want to play at a high level, you have to do high level things. Okay, guys? All right, have a great weekend.